Point me specific love. Have you ever walked out to your shop, flipped on your switch, and that happens? Yep, the light just will not come on. Whether it's due to just it's too cold or it's too damp, whatever the problem is, sometimes these fluorescent lights just do not want to work right. So for this video, I'm going to be switching over to some really flat panel LED lights so this shop can now be nice and bright and work with that switch every time. Now first off, I want to say I am not an electrician and I'm not showing you the exact way how to wire things up. I'm just showing you how I did it. So, make sure you check with all your guidelines and all your minimum regulations you need and all your codes that you have to follow before hanging up any lights. Now most of you are familiar with the fluorescent lights and I'm not going to get into that, but I wanted to say that this one bulb is about 40 watts. And in most of the fixtures I've seen in most shops hold two bulbs. So we're looking at 80 watts per light fixture. Well, I'm going to be upgrading to these really thin LED panels that not only are really thin and can get them up and out of the way is that one panel is only using the wattage of one of these bulbs so in theory I can use two of these panels in place of every single setup I have and make this shop really bright let's see if we can do that now if you have a drop down ceiling you can always work these into the scaffolding and make sure they fit and slide right into place if you do not like I do not they come with these little hooks that you can hang and they also have little holes in each of these hooks so that you can hang them from your ceiling. In either case, you need to be careful and watch out for this one box. As you can see here, the whole light is very thin, except for this electrical box, and that is one thing you need to take into consideration when you're wiring it up and when you're hanging it. Now this is what my electrical setup looks like. It could vary a little bit per light setup. I have a couple holes here that I put the electrical wires in. Make sure you line those up correctly. I have a ground wire here that you just use one of those twist on caps to get that connected. I also have the ability to add a dimmer switch. I do not have one at the moment, but I could always add one in the future to make this a little bit brighter and a little bit dimmer. All right, I got the first one wired up. Let's see exactly how bright this is gonna be. Whew. Wow, that is hard to even get close to. Good gracious alive. Look at the light difference. This is gonna be really awesome in a shop. Yeah. Now to hold up these lights, I had to add some additional framing to the ceiling. I just used some basic 2x4s between each of the joists that were offset so that the screws could go in the ends. On these pieces, I added some 2 inch nails at a slight angle for each of the light hooks to hang on. And this setup worked great. Now to hold up these lights, I'm using the hooks that came with them and I just put them on over a nail that I put into these added supports. Now, if you notice here, I also have a thumbtack. The only reason why is that this hook is holding 99% of the weight, but there is a possibility if it gets bumped, it could go back and forth and slide around a little bit. So I put a thumbtack in one of the little holes that are provided on it, so that should minimize and prevent that from happening. All right, we're gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna unplug this fluorescent and plug this LED in to see how it's gonna look to just one on one side. Now that's a major difference with just the one. I'm so excited to see what it is with both of them in. Now I'm gonna be using this adapter to plug into each of the outlets so that I can have two plugs going into one outlet. And that is because each of these LED fixtures here are about half the consumption of the standard uh, fluorescence that they're replacing. So therefore I can have two going into one. All right, now we're going to do a before picture and an after. Whew. Now that is bright. This is awesome. Now I'm loving these new lights. I've actually had to turn uh, some of the settings down on the camera, otherwise I would have been partially blurred out with this. But overall, it is much, much brighter in here, much brighter than I even imagined before. Uh, I'm, again, using roughly about the same amount of wattage. Uh, it might be a slight difference, but it shouldn't be anything uh, majorly. I have double the amount of lights. I've been able to spread them out farther, so therefore I can actually see my workbench is a lot better than just having a row of lights down the center. So if you're thinking about upgrading your lighting system, going to some kind of a flat panel or some kind of an LED system that not only could be thinner, but higher and brighter, it is an awesome thing to do for your shot. I can 
completely recommend you giving it a shot. And in today's time, with the prices, they are not as bad as you might think. Just do your searching, search around. I did some searching and I found a decent website that uh, had these lights at a decent price. So make sure you do your research. You can get a nice setup like this relatively cheap. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you click the like button. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. And as always, have fun building.